including over 400 children. The Washington debate to strike or not to strike Syria is underway. The president gathered senior lawmakers from Congress to make his case for limited action aimed at stopping the Assad regime from any future use of chemical weapons and to warn other countries not to flout a global ban on their use. He says he's confident Congress will vote to authorize strikes. I've made a decision that America should take action, but I also believe that we will be much more effective, uh, we will be stronger if we take action together as one nation. A top Republican in Congress emerged from the meeting to declare his support. A big boost for the president, although the Speaker of the House certainly doesn't speak for all in his party. Uh, the United States, uh, for uh, our entire history, uh, has stood up for democracy and freedom for people around the world. Uh, the use of these weapons uh, have to be responded to. But debate is fueling uncertainty and tension. Israel launched at least one missile similar to this one over the Mediterranean. It was detected by the Russians. A defensive test exercise, say the Israelis, but it stirred fears of future misunderstanding. Israel was apparently testing a Sparrow missile. It's designed to simulate some of Syria and Iran's long-range missiles. The firing enables Israel to test its US-backed ballistic defences, its missile shields. An American official described the firing as routine, but it is a sign that Israel is taking very seriously the possibility that any US airstrikes could lead to retaliatory attacks on Israel itself, either by Syria or by its allies, including Hezbollah in Lebanon. France says it will not strike Syria if the US Congress votes against. But President François Hollande says he will increase support for Syria's opposition rebels instead. That makes David Cameron's position look even more uncomfortable. The Prime Minister can't join military action after his Commons defeat. Now that doesn't mean we do nothing on Syria. We are already the second largest aid donor in delivering the humanitarian aid that is so badly needed both in Syria and in the neighbouring countries like Jordan and Turkey. But the focus now is on America's debate. With President Obama urged by some to do nothing, by others to use missile strikes as a starting point for much greater involvement in Syria. James Robbins, BBC News.